Yeah, Coach, could we start with the injuries, Jewel, Darby, and uh, Garrett Bowles? Yeah, uh, Ron, uh, Darby, he's got a, a knee that we're looking into. Uh, we're hoping it's not that severe. Josie, same thing. He had a knee that uh, we're hoping is not serious. Uh, Garrett obviously did not look very good there. Um, so we'll evaluate that a little bit more. Got to get in there and see him. And then Baron Browning had a wrist that he came out to. We're evaluating those too. And then, you know, obviously offensively, um, bad all, all night. Uh, what do you attribute it to that performance? Yeah, I need to be sure that I'm able to evaluate it and look at it a little closer. Uh, I think we had a lot of opportunities. Again, those things continually show up, and we're not capitalizing on them, whether it's a, um, a drop, a, a missed throw, a, uh, just too many things that you know, aren't coming together. And I think that you know, for us, the offense is going through some adversity, and I believe that they're going to get through this, and they're going to learn from it, and we're going to grow from it, that we have to. Uh, Nate, what did you just think of Russell's performance? It looked like he was just off on, on a, lot of, a lot of his throws tonight. I think I'm going to have to evaluate it and look at it and, and see where he is. want to always try to get him into a rhythm. Didn't feel like uh, we were able to get him in that and uh, need to do a better job. Starts with me to be able to get him in that rhythm with all the wide receivers and, and tight ends. There were, again, there were a couple opportunities. Um, I think we had a, a couple drops again, a couple penalties. You know, we keep continually hurting ourselves. And I think that's the thing that's frustrating. And we need to address it as an offense and we need to fix that because the performance by the defense was spectacular, and we're wasting those, those great opportunities to be able to win a football game. Nate, can you, can you take us through the sequence just before the two-minute warning, the, the third down interception, the calculus there, whether to run the ball on third and four, and whether you were thinking, obviously, you're, you're playing for the touchdown if you thought about potentially field goal to go up six. Yeah, we wanted to be sure that we were able to get a first down. So we were trying to give ourselves a, a play that could help us with that. Um, we were been running the ball well there. So we went with a play action pass. And in that situation, obviously, we don't want a turnover. We, we want to come away with the points. That would have helped us. And um, we were really working uh, Jerry across the middle. And uh, I, I don't think he was open. And then uh, you know we just slowly progressed. And um, you know, Russell thought he had a chance at it and uh, ended up being a pick. Uh, on the game's final play, what, is it something you saw uh, in the defense to kind of you know go go for the end zone there, go, go on the fourth and one? We wanted to win the game. We hadn't moved the ball very well the whole night, and I thought we had a spectacular drive to get all the way down there. Uh, it ended up being fourth and one, and uh, got the go to go for it, and thought that was a good decision. Wanted to put the ball in Russell's hands and call uh, called a play that we know that that he really likes. And it didn't work out. It was one of those things. The timeout before it was to kind of get a feel for what they were doing. And so the run didn't look as good as we had hoped it would have. And it gave, it, gave us a chance with Russell. And, and that's all you can ask for in that situation to win the game. KJ Hamler looked visibly frustrated at multiple points, especially on the last play. I know you got a chance to go over it tomorrow. But um, in the moment where you're just not seeing all the receivers on the field, is there something you can do to help Russ in those situations? Yeah, I think after we look at the tape, I think we'll be able to have a great conversation about that and get him in a rhythm. I mean, I think that's, you know, it's a new place, new receivers, new, uh, a lot of new form. And our goal is to make him feel more comfortable. We have to protect him better. We have to run the ball better. We have to do a lot of things uh, to help us. The, the, there were a lot of opportunities out there. And I think that's the frustrating thing uh, for all of us. It, it's not me. It's not just the players. But um, there are opportunities to be able to have big plays or conversions. And um, we just got to be better. I mean, the guys need to continually develop. Coach, what was, what was the defense doing well to frustrate Matt Ryan? Uh, you know, they were getting to him. I thought the pass rush was, was very good. They were surrounding him quite a bit. I know they had a great uh, performance there uh, on that one. And I know any time that, that you get to a quarterback or, or able to uh, get around him, uh, it's going to fluster him a little bit and make it harder. Uh, it's kind of what happened to us a little bit uh, with the quarterback getting hit a couple times. So uh, you're always trying to get to the QB. If you get that opportunity, you're, you're going to have a good defense. Coach, I realize it's only five games in, but at two and three, you've lost a couple of really tough games, and one on the road and then here at home. What is your message to the team? Is it, it kind of feels like it's teetering a little bit here. I know it's early, but what is the message? 
No, I think the guys are staying together. I think everybody's playing together. I think we all know that the offense has to put it together. We need to be better. Uh, from an offense perspective on this team, the defense needs to continually uh, do what they're doing, and, and then it'll come together. I think that all teams are tested through adversity throughout a season. For us, it's early in this season right now, and those guys uh, in that room are, are real tight. That locker room is real tight. They know they got to play together. I know R Russell feels bad about that game, but it's not just on him. It's on all of us. It's the entire team. And for us to learn from this and grow, grow from all five games that we've had. We've got a little time off. Everybody can take a little breath. It's been a unique schedule. And uh, we, we can reconvene and get back and get ready to go win another football game. Me too, right? I just want to go back to the last play of the game. Are you saying you didn't want sort of a first down play at that point? And you wanted to go to the end zone instead and just sort of uh, having Russell in the gun instead of under center. Yeah, we wanted to have a good pass called. Uh, we wanted to put it in his hands to be able to try to win that football game. Uh, whether or not he was going to use his legs or uh, run around, I thought the protection was really good. Uh, they played man coverage from what it looked like. And uh, we had a couple people that I think might have been there. But um, regardless, I need to look at the tape and look at it a little bit closer. I think for Russell, he was trying to make a play. And he was going to you know, our other best player, our other captain in number 14. And we, you know, it didn't happen. And again, want to put that in his hands. Coach, a lot of third and longs on, on both sides of the ball. How did that kind of impact the way the game played out there? Uh, third down and longs are <laughs> very frustrating because uh, you're already behind the sticks. Uh, we've continually seen, I think we, we didn't, uh, I don't know how many total penalties we had, but felt like we had, again, we were behind the chains a couple series. And when you do that, uh, to try to get back up in front of them is always a, a difficult task. And when you're in those third down and longs, I know we weren't very good on third down. That stopped a lot of drives. And we got to get in front of the sticks. Uh, I mean, that, that's, that's the key. I thought we had a really good drive there at the end when we were running the ball and getting down there. But um, we got to be consistent throughout the whole game. Thank you very much, Coach. All right, y'all. Thank you.